apparently they're posting the trailer for a con raid in 13 minutes. Here comes COVID commander. あ、運団長、イリア계속해서 이젠 Oh no! Oh god. Oh shit. You got this. That drowning mechanic. It... Look at the sharpshooter. The sharpshooter on the right. Looks like it can't be avoided. You have to drown. Oh wait, no. This person here, they don't fall off. Looks horrifying. <laughs> Not sure what this gimmick is. It looks like Metis Island. Doing. Looks like a billion Medusa mechanics at the same time. Mm, that's exciting. The crystal went up like 150 just for trailer. <laughs> oh god, did it really? I think it's too hard to tell from a trailer, but I think it'll still be easier than Bros. Shaza. Yeah, give me the link to the trailer again. I want to look at it again. I can't tell if this is part of the raid or not, but if it is, that this looks cool. I like this whole like boat thing going on. The soundtrack in the back? It's sick. Imagine you're doing a hell mode run and you die because you can't go up the stairs. All life alert. I guess this is the gate one boss. It must be. Then that begs the question if Akon is both gate two and three or just gate three. The heavy knockback and it sends the these two go flying out of the map and they drown. Sorceress doesn't though. Sorceress lands on the edge of the map and rolls back in. They got heavy knockback though. 
there's a armor debuff on all the players. It's a very visible one. So I guess there's a raid mechanic armor debuff. Normally debuffs would just appear over your debuff bar, but this one's actually over your head. There's a heavy damage telegraph here. In Lost Ark, there's three types of telegraphs. There's red, blue, and yellow. Red generally means heavy damage. Blue typically means a status debuff, like freeze, paralysis, petrify, so on and so forth. And yellow generally means heavy knockback. After this attack, though, they go like, Ew. they go flying. Can you see the frame changes? Oh. Oh, okay, you're right. That's a completely different attack. He's standing here instead. He instantly goes to standing. Oh, no. Look at that. When you go frame by frame, that's actually like a fade transition. If you watch it at normal speed, it looks like it's part of the same attack. He lost his 8-pack. He used to have an 8-pack, but now he only has 6-pack abs. They nerfed him already, and he hasn't even come out yet. Dude, imagine you finish phase 1, and you're running up to the boss. Maybe this is like the run up to phase 2. Oh, we got the deathless run! We got this, boys! Slice! Dead. This is interesting. I guess this is a gimmick inside one of the phases. Some sort of Metis Island kind of crap. I don't know what to make of this, honestly. Some sort of green area thing. Some sort of buff, maybe debuff. There's four players in here, so maybe this is a four and four mechanic, and two players have specialized roles. Oh, but this player gets straight on Ewing. Not sure if the light had anything to do with that. What the hell is this shit? There's like eight Medusas. That's how many players have to look at the boss. This is actually a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven man raid. And there's a fade transition there. This looks like it's the eight players. You can see there's the sharpshooter, paladin, trapper, destroyer, sorceress. But it's not the actual players themselves. It's the same debuff thing from that inner Metis Island gimmick. Oh, this is a raid wipe, I guess. You don't want to see this attack. Oh, they're petrified. Yeah, everyone's petrified in this frame. As if they failed a Medusa. This bit looks so odd. Oh, this has to be the players themselves, because how else would they capture this frame? Or maybe they're all petrified right now, and that like red translucent effect is just from his lantern. I think they're all petrified in this. Each of those waves are a level one stagger. That looks mildly annoying. I see the paladin gets like a little flinch every time. <laughs> uh. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of interesting. Look at the top left. It's just for a moment, but you could see it. Look at the very top left. It's a counterable pattern at the top left. The Akon must be off screen and he comes in zooming like a fucking freight train. This is um Lumerous. Lumerous pattern. You can see the pizza pizza slice in the back is safe. Oh, he has long white hair. You know who else has long white hair? That's right, Kadan. Yeah. So if Kadan also has long white hair, then I guess this must be his grandpappy. Can't seem to discern between phase two and phase three stages. Like, you know, this is underground and this is overground. This part clearly looks like it's like a split mechanic, a four and four, kind of like in uh, phase one of Vicus. Yeah, what if, what if, what if, what if Akon's actually blind and he's just trying to sniff you out? It's like some horror game shit. Dude, there's so many, there's so many Medusa patterns. What the fuck? Even in this pattern, you can see there's a Medusa eye in the center. Motherfucker's entire gimmick is Medusa. He's got eyes embedded into his shoulders and forehead. Goddamn. Looks very phase. Esque, this whole area here in particular. Four players here. Still seems like it's just four. Oh no, I see five players now. Never mind. It's just because uh, this guy kind of blended in with the fucking ground. One, two, three, four, five. And there's a guy on the left also. Oh, I thought it was a monster for some reason, but I guess it's the <laughs> I guess it's the scrapper. <laughs> All right, they're not wearing cash shop outfits, so you know they kind of look generic, like a monster or some shit. My bad, their tits aren't fucking hanging out like every other character in the server. Everyone's looking in different positions. You have a bunch of people looking away, and then you have the scrapper and the paladin looking at. 
And then the Deathblade is doing fuck all. They don't even care about the mechanic. They're just trying to get DPS uptime. It's a decent bit more colorful than what I was expecting for like the whole plague thing. I was kind of expecting things to be a lot more bleaker and a lot darker. I guess when you have a giant like red sun behind everybody, it kind of illuminates the place pretty nicely. This must be the gate one boss. Not humanoid size though. Let's just hope he doesn't turn around that much. It's gonna be a pretty fair fight for entropy. This right here is some DPS uptime. Just use some level two super armor shit. Berserker bloody rush. What's that icon that every player has? Uh, all up there, armor, right? the shield one. Yeah, it looks like a shield is cracked in too. That's like an armor break. But it's green one though. It should be the popper. Oh, oh yeah, right. There's no way it's a normal debuff. If it was a normal debuff, they wouldn't have that icon. Maybe your HP debuff, like while you're playing this phase, your max health decreases over time. If you have like 200,000, it decreases to 1,800, 180,000, 160,000, 100,000. Oh yeah, the, the destroyer in the bottom right does not have it. Or it's like, fucking noob, how you all get hit by this mechanic? Didn't you watch the video before we started? Reclair party, fucking noob. <laughs> On your screen, the armor was like kind of combined into one. It broke. And there's a red light popping out suddenly. Yeah, you can see the icon above the sharpshooter. It's a shield that's intact, and then after they get hit by the attack, the shield cracks. And now they have the shattered shield icon. But it is not cracked like perfectly. It just cracked a little bit. So maybe you can we can have three or two chances. Anti-knockback for that attack? No, it can't be that because you can clearly see that they all had the shield intact before they got hit by it. If it was supposed to protect you from the knockback, then they wouldn't have gotten thrown back. I wonder if the drowning mechanic is special or if it's actually instant death or not. Probably an instant death because the debuff bar like disappeared right away. You have to rapidly alternate between A and D to tread water until your teammates can help rescue you, throw you a little life buoy. It looks like you fight him down here and then you fight him again up here because like later on in the video you can see that the stage is way closer to the red sun. Yeah, this definitely looks like it's the stage for phase 3. Like with the red moon sun shit in the backdrop. I guess in the first phase you're fighting like knee deep in water and the second phase it's like the platform but it's far from here and the third phase is probably right there right behind it. Yeah, it looks cool. 